Remember in your slide brief you were told that you'd be surrounded by three sides of communist North Korea. I will show you how you are at this time. If you guys look to your right, approximately 50 meters, you will see the multiple white stakes, as well as two black and yellow rusted pattern markers kind of covered by a tree there. That does denote the border within this area. The MDL does follow the tree line all the way directly to the front where it hits the Satchon River. Then it makes it a 90 degree angle, abrupt left. So it basically does a big horseshoe within this area and it bisects the head asteroid in the west. So now you know how you are surrounded by three sides of Thomas, North Korea. 2,000 meters to your front right and left of this uh, large mountain, you will see an upside down J-shaped dirt road. That is the northern portion of the DMZ and you guys can see how wide the MDL actually is. If you guys look in front of that, you will see a tower that's coming out of the trees. That is one of the propaganda towers that used to be used to highlight Kim Jong-il as a great leader. But after 60 years of no success, they decided to take down the speakers and replace them with the cameras that now lie there. Off to the left of that, you will see a two-story tan tower building. That is KPA guard tower number five and is mining guest at this time. Then directly to your front, you will notice a cluster of buildings as well as a large guard tower. Excuse me, as, as well as a long blue roof. That is a former Czech and Polish and in a sea camp. North Korea tends to say that that's where they stage your quick reaction force. However, me, prior Kripik, or anybody here at the JSA, we haven't seen anybody leave or exit that building, enter or exit that building, so we have come to call it the slow reaction force. <laughs> then using this as a guide, it is what this monument talks about. It's approximately 1,000 meters from this monument. Directly to your front is an A-frame building that's surrounded by those tr pine trees. That is the North Korean People's Peace Museum. It is also is it is also ironically named for it houses the two axes that were used in the 1976 axe murder incident. Then to the left, you will see a blue guard tower. That is checkpoint number four, which is no longer manned due to the fact that everything that could seem be that could see that could be that could be seen there can easily be seen here at checkpoint number three to your rear. In front of this checkpoint number four is the bridge no return. Across from that is KPA guard tower number seven, which is manned 24 hours a day. If you guys count four pine trees back from the bridge no return, you'll notice a small break in the trees, and you'll notice a small monument as well. That is where the large yellow poplar tree grew in the area. The left of that, you will see a large grassy patch. That is the, the actual location of the 1976 axe murder incident. And then directly to your front, off in the horizon, you will see a, a jamming tower. That is a North Korean jamming tower that is located throughout the coast so that it could keep the people from the outside world. That is the reason why most of you guys don't have signal in this area. And then to the left, you will see propaganda, or the propaganda village, or Gijang Dong. Note this village as a multi-million dollar Hollywood set due to the fact that most of the buildings are fake. <laughs> North Korea doesn't seem that we have noticed this, but all their windows and doors were actually painted on. <laughs> at night when they rarely get electricity and they light up this village, there's a bright light at the top of the building and with each floor underneath it becomes dimmer and dimmer. So we know it's just a building with no uh, floors, it's just a building with a light bulb at the top of this building. <laughs> the flag is flying well today. This is actually surprising it's because it takes a large gust of wind to get this flag flying. It's an approximately dry weight of six to seven hundred pounds. And off to the right of that, you will see the two skyscrapers. That is the actual location of the Kaesong Industrial Complex. That is the headquarters. And then to the front right, bottom right of this village, that is the only uh, complexes that are actually being used by these North Korean workers. The rest of that, all that's fake. Then at this time, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and ask me or Pirate Kripika. Other than that, enjoy your time here. We'll have about three to four minutes before we have to leave and go down to the bridge no return. And if you guys are get cold or are just done taking pictures, please form back to the two, excuse me, please go back to the buses and just these buses. We don't want to see you guys down there either. Thank you. <laughs>